Hey buddy, I hope you are doing well. So Microsoft has given so much cool features within Visual Studio. It it is always are in front of our eyes, but you know we just go and walk away, right? But no need to worry about. I am here, your host, your host, to give you all the information, right? So one of the cool features that Microsoft has given to us that is Live Share. If you are working remotely. If you are working from home, this feature is, you know, like a gift from Microsoft to us. We are going to so, explore this cool feature of Live Share, and you, I will be needing some help so I can give you a live demo. I can show you how you can go and play all those options. So this guy Manjot Singh is going to help me with this live demo. He's very intelligent. Very intelligent. He's one of my favorite developers, you know. in my current company and i just love working with this guy right so, so let's start so here we are in the visual studio okay so when you open the visual studio over your project in the visual studio right top corner you see this icon called live share right so if you click over this it will start copying the link and generate it will give you one link so if you see microsoft visual studio has given this a nice message that says you know the link is generated already and that link is also copied so you don't need to go and copy but still in case you messed up something and you know by mistake you say hey i copied this thing by mistake now i don't know you know how can i find the same link so you don't need to stop and you know do the same operation what you can do you can right click here oh sorry you can click here and you will see view live share window copy link so you can copy link from here again right so let me copy the link and what i will do <coughs> i will share this link with my friend manjot so this is one thing the the other thing is so on the right side where you see all of your windows you will see live share right so why i see because i have you know enabled it but if you don't like see live share what you can do you can go to something called here view and in the view there is other windows other windows there would be then you know live share if you click over this you will see the same window right and here you will see all those nice options so we will talk all those the options in details but let me you know first let me show you how you can do pair programming or multiple people can do pair programming i'm going to share this link with my friend okay, so here is the link that i need to paste in the chat so let me just you know Option. Let me. Yeah, here we go. So I have this chat option. Let me paste it and forward it to my friend. <coughs> okay. So I need to do unmute myself now. Hey, Manju, can you copy this link and join the session? Okay. So. Yeah. So this is the option that you know we guys need to click. You see this this join link here. Over here you need to paste your link. The new link is could be the older link. So just paste the new link and you know click on the join button. So once you click on the join button, you are going to join that session that host has started. In this case, I am the host. So Manjot has started my uh, join my session actually. And now let me show you the magic thing. uh now i should be able to see in my you see over here i saw just that notification uh, so once once manjot or you know anyone join your session you will get the notification over here as well so since we are little late and we missed that uh, notification let me go to live share again and you see there i can see who all the participant i can see manjot singh is a participant and over here you see this in program dot cs that means manjot singh has opened a program dot cs class part right now and i can see where the manjot cursor is here is the manjot cursor manjot can you please write something in the server name just say you know any name test name maybe yeah you see manjot is typing i can see live what he is doing similarly you know i can track all of those things i can do pair programming very easily now that is the one thing the other thing is i can you know see the live status of manjot as well so manjot can you please change your status as well so let's go back to manjot screen yeah over here from here you can change your status so right see he made green now let me go back to my screen i should be able to see my screen 
So sometimes you know it takes time, but why it is not showing a green let me troubleshoot. So I think you know I have to check some option here. Uh, I'm following my George, which is right. I don't see his real time status. Uh, <clears throat> So can you make your change to the status again? Can you make it to red? Yeah, so you see over here, right? So from here you can see only you know that you are following or not following. From here you can see the status. So Macho, can you please change the status to something else, maybe away? So I should be able to see you know what is your current status. Are you working on the Visual Studio or you are you know out for coffee or maybe you know pee? Here you go, you see. So all of those things, what, whatever things that you know available in Teams, Slack, any different chat application, all of those things are here, right? So we can see Manjo thing is away now. Okay, Manjo, can you back to the work? Can you please back to the work and make your status, you know, maybe in presenting mode, do not disturb something. Yep, so I can see Manjo is changing his status. So he made his status change to, you know, I think busy. Okay, so let me back to my screen. So he made his status change, and now you see, you can see he's in you know that do not disturb, right? <clears throat> okay. Now, so we can see who all are working, which file we are working. Let me change some other file. Now, what I will do, I will you know make a change. Something here, I will go to solution explorer. Let me open my service and email service, and I'm saying hey, testing live share. Uh, 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 live share, right? So I've done live testing share this text and let's go on my screen. So you see over here my status got changed on his machine that Praveen Kumar is in this file live share. I can see you know whatever I have written over there it is appearing right away. Right away. Even you know in the git you have to make a code change, then you have to commit and then you programmer or your peers will get to know what things uh, you have done but over here you can do live pair programming you don't need to jump on any call because you know calls are quite take bandwidth bandwidth of your internet but this mechanism is quite useful when you have team members of 10 people and you know you are the host you are the technical lead and you wanted to make sure everyone you know on their machine and they are productive so this could be useful for that purpose but Let's not go into you know that tracking system, but still it is very useful when you are on the slow internet bandwidth, right? <clears throat> okay. Now <clears throat> let's imagine that you know Manjot is on system, but somehow uh, I need his attention. That hey, I need your attention. So since we are not on the audio call with this live share that Microsoft has not given as of now, maybe they can update this feature as well. But let me tell you how you can get his attention. So I'm trying to get Manjo's attention here. Uh, so let me first of all close this chat so I can have a bigger screen. Okay, here we are. Let me you know, make it a little small. Okay, so <laughs> I will go to live share and on the live share you see this thing there is something called focus participant. So you have to click on focus participant and over here Manjot will receive one notification on the bottom column. Okay, so I'm getting it. So if I send over his machine, I should be able to see that focus. So let's wait. We have not received any yet. Okay. Manjot, can you please send me the focus so I can you know receive that uh, yeah, you need my attention? There you go. Manjo saying focus your attention right that means he needs my attention so hey, this is how we can get someone attention that hey I need your attention right so this is one thing let's go to the other things what we have else in the live share okay this will talk this will talk and you know if you wanted to end the session for sure you can you know leave this session and Manjo can you please leave the session Yep, so once he leaves the session, you will see here on my machine, so I don't see anything in the participant, right? I don't have any active participant now, right? Okay, so this is one way to join any uh, this pair programming when you are user, you are logged in user through Visual Studio, but there is a way you can also log in as an anonymous user, okay? So Majot, can you please open this link 
into some browser and where you can join as a guest user. Right, so let's go back to Manjo's screen and let's see. I think you already have that link copied. If not, let me know. I will uh, share with that. Okay. So let me share with that again. Uh, if you already have, hmm. I hope you already have. No. If not, let me you know, share that again. Oh, I sent a request. So just you know this purpose. Hmm. So I need to go here, copy link, and I will paste in the chat one more time. Okay. So here you go. Yeah. So Macho, can you please join now as a guest? A new problem window. The same link can be any new problem window. Okay, so we are opening the link in the forward window, so we don't interfere with the existing thing. Huh, okay, let's see now. Let me go to chat, and I should be able to see once this link is joined as a guest user over here in the under my participant. Right now, there is no participant. Okay, now you can open in a web. Yep, you can say open in a web. So let's just open in a web because if you open Visual Studio, you already have an account. Now. Here you go. You see. This bottom pop up that asks you know how you wanted to join this session. You wanted to sign in or you wanted to uh, join as an anonymous user, as a guest user. So we know that you know there is an option for signing and we have already uh, took a look. So let's join this session as a guest user. Can you join as a guest user? Yep, continue as anonymous. Yep. So you can join as a guest user, put some name, that's fine. Yeah, guest user is fine. So you go now. I should be able to see in some time. You see. Since you are a guest user, I'm, I have, I got a request that you know you wanted to accept or reject, and I see the name who is that user. So let's say accept first, and there is, there we go. So guest user has started my, you know, joined my session, right? And similarly, you can see on his machine, all those codes are open, right? Now the other thing, let me you know kick out this user, maybe. Accidentally, I accepted his request. He may be, you know, some sort of threat to my application. So what I need to do? I need to say remove participant. Right click and remove participant. Here you go. You see that user will receive this message. You have been removed from the this session, this collaboration session. Right? Okay. Perfect. Okay. Can you please raise another request? Maybe you know, accidentally you remove this uh, that uh, that user. So how you what you need to do? You have to again paste that link. I mean the other user have to paste that link, and then I will you know accept that again, right? Right. So that is one thing that you can do. But other thing, let me show you. What if you know someone has requested and you already know that this user doesn't belong to this session? Maybe he or she got this link somehow you know from different sources right so let's see what will happen if i reject this guy request now okay can you yep, open in a web let's do the same thing yep open in a web and yep funding as anonymous yep any user yep you can say manjur yep that's fine now i should be able to see here as a request there you go before i have accepted right now you see they have requested and still loading so what I will see, I will reject and let's see what message you know that we chose to receive that as a guest user. Reject. There you go. Let's see what happened now. You see, the host rejected your anonymous request sign to proceed. Perfect. Okay. More interesting feature about uh, this live share tool, and that is something you know called terminal. So we often you know working with Visual Studio, and sometimes we need a command from window where you know type some sort of command. So that option is also available with live share. Let me show you. So let's say mouse over and where is that option? Uh, uh, uh. Okay, here you go. You see the share terminal. When you click over this, the same live terminal window should be get open over the other people's uh, screen. So can you see Manjot? Are you able to? Yep, oh, oh, here you go. Right? So you see they have received something called PS1 and read only blah blah, right? So if you double click over there, can you please click over there and you should be able to see that uh, PowerShell window. Now let me type some name and say just test. You see, you guys are now interacting, you know, directly through this uh, PowerShell window, this command prompt, right? So this is also one of the helpful tools when you need some sort of 
PowerShell window, you can share that as well, right? Yeah. So these are the different options that you can use for pair programming. You don't need to depend on Teams, Zoom, or any different source of you know, screen sharing and all. Any different source of screen sharing and all. What you can do, you can use this nice feature of Visual Studio called Live Share and start using pair programming. This will definitely increase the productivity. Okay, so thank you so much Manjot for you know joining the call and helping me to deliver this nice and beautiful tool. Okay, so that's all for this session. I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.